Right, it's a question one. A box is on a table. The area of the box in contact with the table is 1,500 centimetres squared. The pressure on the table is 28 newtons per metre squared. Work out the force exerted by the box on the table. Give your answer correct to the nearest whole number. So looking at this question, I can see straight away that I've got 1,500 centimetres squared and 28 newtons per metre squared. So I'm going to have to do some conversion. Uh, what I'm going to do first, however, is rearrange this formula because I do need it for force. So pressure equals force over area. Now if I look at force, it's being divided by area. So I multiply by area. And I end up with pressure times area equals force. So there's my equation rearranged. Now I'm going to change um, 1,500 centimeters squared to meter squared. So to do that, I'm just going to write down here. Remember, make everything nice and neat. So I've got 1,500 centimeters squared. I would like to get rid of it, so I need to multiply by um, over a centimetre, and I would like to convert it to metres. So I need to multiply by one metre over something centimetres. So how many centimetres are there in one metre? Well, there's a hundred. Now we don't want um, metre, we want metre squared, so we need to square all of this. Well, then we end up with 1,500 centimetres squared times 1 metre squared over 100 squared, which is 10,000 centimetres squared. Now, from algebra, that will cancel with this. So we end up with 1,500 metres squared over 10,000. And therefore... 1,500 divided by 10,000 will give us 0.15 meters squared. So we've now converted that from centimeter squared to meter squared. So now looking back at the equation, force equals pressure times area. The pressure is 28 newtons per meter squared. Multiply that by 0.15 and we get a pressure of 4.2 newtons. Now it does say give your answer correct to the nearest whole number, so that would be 4 newtons.